Hi there, I'm out at the farm today. I want to talk about the ox, otherwise known as the cow. In the Bible, cows are referred to as ox. I got good old 7394 over here, and all these in this line here, they're gonna have calves at some point in the future. In the Bible, the ox or the cow were precious animals. They were used in the temple for sacrificing. They considered cows great to eat. Look at this one, this one likes me right here. See that? In addition to that, they were beasts of burden. They, used, they were hooked to a plow to take care of fields. They were hooked to carts as well. When they were hooked to a plow, that was hard work. They used a yoke, a U-shaped yoke, to hook the ox to the plow. That brings me to the scripture passage I wanted to talk about today. It's from Matthew chapter 11, where Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourself, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In talking about the ox, I mentioned that pulling a plow that's specifically designed for them is hard work. Jesus said if we take his yoke, the burden is easy and it is light. This implies prior to taking the yoke of Jesus, we're tired and burdened from our current yoke. This implies that we might have to drop our current yoke in order to take Jesus' yoke. One current yoke that we could drop is not bringing Jesus into our current struggles. We can take on Jesus' yoke by placing our burdens on him. We do that through praying, bringing to Jesus our daily struggles and letting him help us out. Check this out, the cow likes to lick me. Another yoke that we can drop in order to take the yoke of Jesus is the burden of sin. Jesus came to take away the burden of sin by giving us the grace to avoid sin. He gives us the grace to avoid sins through the sacraments. We can also drop the burden of sin through going to confession. Knowing that our sins are forgiven can provide us with the lifting of a great burden. When Jesus said to take his yoke upon us, another aspect of that is learning from Jesus. What Jesus teaches us in the scriptures is the way to stay close to God right now and to live our lives as a preparation for eternal life in heaven. Everything that Jesus taught us is based on love. St. John said that God is love. Jesus showed us how we can return God's love through worship, prayer, and loving God in our neighbor finish things up, Jesus said we can find rest in taking upon ourselves his yoke. When we let Jesus carry our burdens, let Jesus forgive our sins, and let Jesus love us and love him in return, our soul can find rest. That is how Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. Let's take a closer look at good old 7531. She's been licking me the whole video. Is that a nice cow? Oh, she's a little camera shy. She went back into the pen there. Look at that. Here's 7321. They're all camera shy. Look at this. I'm walking down the row. 7309, 4976. That's a lot of cows in this row. They're going to give birth to a calf soon. Look at them. Have a great day.